Mmm. 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 Express out. Uh, and uh, a little something to eat. Uh, that's very thoughtful of you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, wasn't it? Uh, well, it's a big spec, you know. Uh, tired and just apprehensive. Did you get any sleep? No. I hated leaving you here. Well, you know, there's no point in both of us being zombies. But I do appreciate that uh, you stayed this long. Where else would I be? You're my husband, Sonny. This is where I belong. Right by your side. Through thick and thin, right? Right? What? I never realized. Look how perfectly our hands fit together. Listen, there's something I need to tell you. You want a divorce? No. Why would you have to go there? I don't know. It's just conditional. No. Oh, you know, that's... The things are going good. I just... Waiting for the other no. machine to drop. All the threats that I made to you and everything, just, just, just throw that out the window. Seriously? You're pregnant, right? Yeah. You're going to have my child, and no matter what I feel, whatever, no matter, you know, I, I could never harm you. So just, I just want you to be honest with me. Why you have to ask me that? Because I grew up in a violent world and a violent life. And if you crossed somebody in my family, then you were disposed of. I mean, that's what we grew up with at the at the breakfast table, like Michael. Um, I would have wanted to. I've been Michael's friend. I would have wanted to have given him some guidance and shown him some compassion what i would not have done is put him in a coma of course not not intentionally i mean the one thing we know about that night is the bullet that hit michael was meant for me the way i see it there were four people who had, who had reason to want me dead jerry because he wanted to run drugs through poor charles i wouldn't allow it so his money maker was screwed rick because he, he you know from one second to the next, he doesn't know if he loves me or hates me. Your father, because he's my biggest rival. And you, because I, I threw your brother into a padded cell, beat him senseless, kidnapped him. So yeah. it's justifiable. Okay, that you... Look, if I had done that, it would have been justified. And I wouldn't be afraid to admit it. Oh, yeah, anybody would understand that. Look, when you grew up in my family, you can't, you can't be afraid of death. If you're going to walk that very dark line of being willing to take somebody's life, then you have to be willing to lose your own. So I'm going to tell you this. I did not do this. Responsible for what happened to Michael. I would have had an abortion, no matter what you wanted. I wouldn't have been able to live with myself, carrying your child knowing what I had done. I'm struggling with this, you know. But because of, you know, for, for the sake of the baby, I choose to believe what you're telling me is true. home for just you know a bit well you don't have to leave i have some things that i need to take care of and um errands and this way you can just focus all of your, your attention and your energy and michael okay. okay i'll be back all right later do you have a death wish or something well actually i have a lot to live for now thanks to you rick come on give it up Please, this is Sonny's baby. It's not yours. Oh, you hope so. Since you can turn that child that you have inside of you, substitute for the one that you turn into a piece of furniture, right? I'm tired, Claudia. 
Must be exhausting mustering up all that phony sympathy for Michael. It's not phony. Oh, come on, Claudia. This is me you're talking to. The only person you feel sorry for is you. Well, it doesn't really matter what you think, does it? You know, I'm getting concerned about you. Every time I see you, you're a little bit more delusional. What do you think, Rick, that I don't talk to my husband? We had a very serious conversation wherein he asked me point blank if I had anything to do with Michael shooting. And I told him I didn't. And you know what? He believes me. Oh, no. See? Correction. He wants to believe. It doesn't matter. Same difference, okay? You know what? Even if down deep somewhere on some primal level, Sonny knows what I did, he'll let it go. Because he'll understand that that's what he deserves for the life that he chose. We're bonded, Rick. By darkness, forever. There's nothing you can do about it. Well, that's 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 beautiful and remains to be seen. But while you're working on your award-winning performance, I got a court order for a paternity test. See that? No. Oh, hang on to it. Why are you doing this? Why do you think? Look, my brother may be stupid enough to trust you, though I highly doubt it, but I am not. And I've had personal experience where DNA tests are concerned and how they can be doctored when left in the hands of a mother. Not having my child stolen. Alexis tried that trick with Sonny. You're not going to do it to me. So what does this paternity test mean? You're forcing me to have an amnio? No. But the minute that that child pops out, he or she is going to be tested. And if you decide to have an amnio during the pregnancy, I need to be informed of the result. And what do you think's going to happen, Rick? I mean, what if, what if you're right? What if it is your baby and Sonny finds out about that? You think he's just going to shift over into the uncle role? I think it gives him the excuse he's looking for to kill you. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to take that chance, huh? But, you know, before I died... I might be compelled to tell my brother all the little things about his wife that he doesn't know. For instance, you tried to kill me under his own roof after a little romp in the hay to keep me quiet about what you did to Michael, right? Cards on the table, Rick. That wasn't nice. What do you want? Who knows about this court order besides us? Sonny's attorney, your attorney, Alexis Davis, Diane Miller, because if Sonny already knows you about know what? this... You are the only one in this room who gives a damn whether Sonny knows about this. Room. That's what this is about, right, Rick? You want to use a little baby so you can finally feel like a man? Wrong. Then what do you want? My kid. You know, what you see as a bargaining chip is a miracle to me. I'm not going to let you rob me of it. Nobody is trying to rob you of anything. Rick, yeah. this is not your baby. Come on. God's sakes. Okay, well, at least we're going to know for sure, right, Claudia? Make no mistake, I will execute that order for paternity test. Neither you nor Sonny are going to deny me my rights as the father of this child.